everyone, I'm Ms. Allie from the Harbor Fields Public Library, and today I'm going to be reading you The Sun Girl and the Moon Boy, a Korean folk tale that is retold and illustrated by Yan Suk Choi. This story is part of our Passport to Our World kits, and this month we're traveling to Korea. Our kits will be available to pick up starting on Monday, and I hope you enjoy this story. Once, a woman left her children at home while she went to the market. Do not open the door to anyone but me, she told them. I will be back before the oil in the lamp runs out. Later that day, she walked home through the dark fields, her basket full of corn cakes for her son and daughter. It was breezy. Whoosh! She was almost home when she heard a rustling above her. Groar! On a high rock sat a huge and fearsome tiger. The woman jumped back in fright. What are you carrying on your head, lady? The tiger growled. Corn cakes for my children, the woman said in a trembling voice. If you give me one of your delicious corn cakes, the tiger said, I will let you go. Groar! So the woman gave the tiger a corn cake, but one was not enough, and he asked for another and another until he had eaten all the corn cakes and the woman's basket was empty. I am still hungry, the tiger growled even louder than before. But I have nothing left to give you, the woman said. Oh, yes, you have, the tiger said slyly. And with that, he pounced on the woman and swallowed her whole. But still he was not full. Now, said the tiger, I will go find her children. The tiger put on the woman's dress and shoes. He tied her scarf around his head. Then he admired himself in the mirror. He he he. Meanwhile, the children were waiting at home for their mother. It was very late and the oil in the lamp was nearly gone. Suddenly they heard a knock at the door. Rutuck tuck tuck. Mother is home, said a gruff voice on the other side. Open the door, my children. The girl ran to open the door, but the boy held her back, remembering what their mother's warning. You don't sound like our mother, said the boy. Let us see your hand. The tiger pushed his paw through a crack in the door. The paw was so hairy and rough that the children jumped back in fright. Our mother has a sweet voice, and her hand is not hairy, said the boy. We will not open the door. The tiger was furious, but then he thought of a plan. He went home and shaved the fur from his paw. Then he put flour on it to make it smooth. Ra tuck tuck tuck. Mother is home, a sweet voice said at the door this time. Show us your hand, said the boy. When the children saw the nice hand and felt how smooth it was, they truly believed it was their mother. Mother, come in, they called cheerfully as they opened the door. Groar! It was not their mother. The children ran away as fast as they could. The tiger ran after them. They ran and ran and ran until the tiger lost sight of them. Now he was mad and thirsty. He tore off the dress and shoes and went to the well to get some water. Far down in the well, he saw the children's faces looking up at him. The tiger smiled. Oh, children, he said sweetly. Don't worry, let me get you out of there. The children burst out laughing because it was so easy to trick the tiger. He had seen their reflection in the water. Hearing their laughter, the tiger looked up and saw them in a tree. How did you get up the tree so quickly, he asked. We put some sesame oil on our hands and feet, said the girl. It made it easier to climb. So the tiger smoothed oil on his paws and began climbing. Whoosh! He fell down hard. Now the tiger became very angry. He wiped off the oil and tried climbing up again, digging his claws into the bark. The children watched him come closer and closer, but they couldn't climb any higher. Oh no, they cried. What can we do? Suddenly, a strange and wonderful thing happened. A long rope dropped down from the sky. The children reached out and took it, and they were lifted up and up away from the hungry tiger. 
The tiger watched in awe. Oh, please, he begged, may I have a rope too? A second rope fell from the sky. The tiger took it, and slowly he was pulled up after the children. The tiger was very happy, but just as he was licking his chops, the rope broke. It was made of rotten straw. The tiger fell down and down, crashing into the cornfield below. High above, the children rose to the very top of the sky where their mother was waiting for them. There should always be enough light for people to stay safe from danger, she said to them as she held them tightly. So the girl turned into the sun and the boy the moon. Their mother became the stars to glitter in the sky. If you look up at the sky during the day, you can see the girl bathing the world in light. And when she sleeps beneath the west side of the earth, you can see the boy and his mother casting pale light on the forest, plains, and rooftops below. The end. Mm -hmm.